and now by popular demand with audio commentary. So these are the lighted knocks that I make. Uh, as you can see, they're quite bright. Um, most of the parts, well actually all the parts that I use to make them are easily and readily available from uh, eBay. Um, what you need to start off with are these uh, CR435 lithium batteries. You can buy them off eBay. Um, standard x -Nox, use the transparent ones so that the LED can shine through them um, and give you a decent sort of illumination. Um, the solid colour ones will work but not as well. Um, these are just uh, like the spring from inside a pen or what have you, just a thin spring um, which you wrap around at the later stage to give you a, a good contact between the, the sleeve of the battery and the inner of the arrow shaft. Uh, and some super bright LEDs. These are the little, um, I think they're 2mm or 3mm, 3mm LEDs. Whatever colour you prefer. Just try and find the highest candle power or MCD rating ones you can. Um, Stanley knife, which is the easiest way to trim off the bottom edge of the uh, the hat sort of shape of the LEDs. Um, your pointy nose pliers, which uh, you know you need to, to uh, hold your um, knocks, etc. as you're doing it. Uh, of course, a cordless drill and a 3.5mm drill bit for drilling out the inside of the knocks. Um, I use a soldering iron to solder the, the tips of the batteries to the, uh, to the LEDs. So first of all, you drill out the inside of the knock. Now what you want to make sure is that you drill in far enough so that the whole head of the LED is inside the the thicker part of the knock, so past the insert part of the knock. Um, so basically the, the, the bottom edge of the hat part of the LED will sit like flush with where the insert meets the, the body of the knock. So just uh, drill that out. You might have to, um, to test it and just double check because you don't want to go too far because you may drill through into the uh, the string seating of the knock, which is not the desired effect. So um, you'll get used to it and you'll work out how far you've got to drill in. Uh, now, I like to usually do like a bit of a test fit, try to put the, you know, sort of insert the LED in there to see um, if the hole's deep enough. But first, you've got to trim off the bottom edge of the LED. Um, it's just like a little shelf. Um, it, it, breaks away pretty easily once you sort of get the first little edge off um, you sort of work your way around the LED and it, it breaks off quite easily as you uh, make your way around just make sure you get it all off so that it's um, nice and clean and uh, the, like the same diameter all the way around Sometimes you get a couple of little pointy shard bits sticking up. Just um, If you have a look vertically from the top, you can see any bits that are sticking up and um, just uh, make sure you trim them all off and get it nice and smooth right around the full uh, base of the LED. And I'll just do a bit of a test fit and make sure that it goes in all the way. Just If you hold the base of the uh, legs you can pull it out and check and see just how far into the into the knock it's going to go and work out whether you need to drill the hole any deeper. All right, so that's sitting where we want it to sit. Now, with the knock, what you do is work out what's going to be the... the I use the underside. It probably really doesn't matter a whole heap, but... What I do is, is find which side is going to be the underside of the knock. And you basically score a line from down the, down, the, down the full length of the insert part of the knock. So from the, the edge where it, the knock meets the, uh, the insert, right the way down to the end of the uh, insert. Um, you want, and then you, you essentially make, want to make a cut all the way down this, uh, down this score. So you cut it now. You want to make sure you go all the way down right to the very uh, joint where the insert and the knock meet. 
because that's essentially where your LED leg will stick out and you want that to be right at the base because that's the point that you know the, the, the bit that makes contact with the um, with your shaft and gives you your connection to illuminate your LED your, your um, knock uh, I like to widen it out a little bit just um, just get your knife on a couple of different angles and just trim it out a little bit to get, get you a little bit wider point where the leg actually comes out so there's no like uh, pressure or tension on the leg of the LED that comes out all right, now what we do is we get our LED. You identify your uh, positive leg, which is, I think normally your shorter leg out of the two. Um, there's a little test uh, to what it will look like once your uh, LED is inside the knock. Now these little LEDs I'm using, I think, are, I think they were rated at 40,000 MCD, something like that, but they were pretty bright. I just had a look on eBay, and they were the brightest ones I could find. Um, so, uh, okay, what we do is we bend the negative leg out of the way just so that it makes it easier to work on the positive leg. You want to bend it right at the very base of the, uh, of the L LED because um, that's going to basically come straight out on a right angle out through that slot that we cut in the knock. Now, with the positive leg, you sort of make a little loop at the bottom of the leg, um, which will... Uh, you've you got to make it big enough for the, the pin part of the battery to, to fit snugly through. Uh, and then what we're going to do is then use that as a base to then wind around the pin of the uh, of the battery. Yep, so that's uh, just a nice tight fit there. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll hold that with the pliers and then wind the rest of the uh, leg around the pin so that you get a perfect nice tight fit. Now you don't have to go all the way up, you leave you know like a bit uh, a, a bit at the end there, like about a centimetre from the actual base of the LED um, so that the battery isn't actually inserted into the knock, you want the battery to be sitting just outside the knock. Um, so you bend the battery and LED into a line so they're in alignment. Right, you are. And then you do a little bit of Scottish. Now, um, you use the uh, solder station um, to hold the uh, hold it, and then just apply heat to the leg and the pin, and then apply your um, your solder. Try be very careful here not to overheat either the LED or the battery if you overheat them you can damage them and yes uh, if you overheat the battery they will explode I know that because I accidentally did it so um, uh, that's just a test so if you connect the negative leg with the body of the uh, body of the battery it'll light up now you insert him into the knock now you use the negative leg and you put that into the slot and then pull it all the way up so that the negative leg is now right at the very that base, that junction between the knock and the insert. Um, you can use um, the pliers and grab the leg and give it a real good nice push up so it's nice and snug. Oh, oh yeah, I use the back of the knife and get it get it right into that uh, into that joint, hard up into that joint of the knock and insert. Then you just wind the leg tightly, really tightly around that joint. Um, there'll be a little bit of excess which you just need to trim off so that um, it's out the way. And just use the pliers and you can go around it and just make sure it's a real nice, snug, tight, um, tight fit. And make sure it's snug right up into that, uh, into that joint between the knock and the insert. <clears throat> right now if you touch connect the body of the battery and that rim that you just made around the knock 
you get that. It lights up. Basically, that's what uh, what causes it to light up is the making the connection between the body of the battery and that little metal metallic lip that we've now got um, around the edge of the knock. Now, just to ensure that your battery gets um, good contact on the inside of your shaft, um, what I do is I is I get a, a, a small spring and cut off a small section. Um, you know. You can stretch it out a bit to make it a little bit bigger and give you a little bit uh, more room to work with. Um, this particular spring, like once you put it on, makes it the perfect diameter to for a snug fit into the inside of the arrow shaft. Um, you might have to muck around and find the, exactly the right size spring. Or well, the other thing you can do is, with the spring, is actually widen, like say the middle loop of the of the spring. So you have a couple of tight curls. Then, a, then have a loose one that comes out wider, um, wider than the actual battery, uh, and then finish off with a couple that are snug to the battery. Um, and essentially that wider one will compress down, um, but it will, you know, will push up against the uh, edge of your knock, uh, sorry, the edge of the inside of your um, shaft um, and give you a, a good um, contact so that you're getting a nice, good, positive um, um, connection between the neck, the like the body of the battery and the arrow shaft itself. A little bit of mucking around, but um, yeah, once you got it on, you'll see what I mean. It just um, gives you a little bit more width, and as I said, you can flare out a coil to make it to give you a bit more uh, grip on the inside of the shaft. All right, essentially, that's it. Now you grab your arrow shaft. And what you're looking for is a nice snug fit. You don't want it to be so tight that it won't move. It's got to be able to uh, to move, but with pressure, not just um, not just you know flopping around in there. Um, and then yeah, basically once you, once you make that last little push, it connects the shaft with that metal rim around the edge of our knock that we've made, and bada bing, she lights up. Now these ones are quite bright. Um, they're they're an uh, they're actually a, a a super bright red LED with a, a red transparent knock, so they actually show up pretty good. Um, if you've got a good tight fit, um, you can get a nice edge on it so that it uh, it's quite easy to turn on and off. But it like it needs to be a good tight fit, otherwise you're going to get failures and um, you know bounces like when your arrow hits really hard. Your knock bounces back a little bit sometimes, and it'll it'll switch off. But um, there you go. Um, the parts by the time you work them out only come to three dollars twenty eight for the battery and the LED um, and the knock. So um, pr they they're pretty cheap. There you go. Um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it, and um, leave me some nice comments. Cheers.